pencil work. Then. Hello, and welcome to this week's Latino TCS. Looks like President Trump's preference for the well-endowed doesn't extend to arts programs. If approved by Congress, Trump's budget proposal would cut the National Endowment for the Arts' $148 million budget, as well as the National Endowment for Humanities' $148 million budget, meaning underserved communities, aka people of color who rely on public programs to make art, would be severely impacted. Funny that the guy who looks like he ate all the orange crayons in kindergarten is so eager to cut arts programs. But who needs theater programs for inner city schools or writing workshops for veterans anyways? Maybe the president will make up for it by offering a mural contest for the wall he's building. Or by supporting a budding young musician to rewrite the national anthem. And the home of the brave, unless you're Muslim, Mexican, or seeking asylum. I don't know, I'm not a songwriter. I did not have a well-funded music program. Marvel just released its first solo series starring a queer Latina superhero. Writer Gabby Rivera tells the story of America Chavez, a Latina lesbian fighting injustice and sexually awakening freshman girls at Sotomayor University. I for one wish I'd grown up with a queer icon like America, instead of settling for some pretty confusing feelings for Rose's Rose's alter ego, Vicky the Biker. It's pretty fun that a character with the potential to excite so much hate from right-wing conservatives is literally named America. That's like if I named a new contraceptive Freedom Pills, or if her sidekick was a gender non-conforming bald eagle. America Chavez was the third choice for the superhero's name after Marvel passed on You Racist If You Don't Like Me and Su Kid White Conservadores. Argentinian football star Lionel Messi has been banned from his country's next four games after directing abusive language towards an assistant referee. Good to know insulting a man in uniform still has its consequences. But if you're Brazilian goalkeeper Bruno Fernandes de Souza, you can literally have your girlfriend killed, feed her to dogs, and still have a soccer career. Fernandes served seven years of his 22-year sentence after he was convicted of having girlfriend Eliza Samudio murdered, and upon his release has signed a two-year contract with Brazilian football club Boa Esporte. I would pay good money to hear this year's round of introductory fun facts in that locker room. I am uh, Bruno Fernandez. I am double jointed. I make a mean farofa. Hello. And uh, when my girlfriend asked for child support, I had her fed to ducks. If Lionel Messi gets a red card for yelling at a ref, what color card does Bruno get for killing his girlfriend? Femicide's real, guys. Look it up. The Motion Picture Association of America reported that in 2016, Latinos were more likely to be frequent moviegoers over other minority groups. Latinos also scored high on metrics such as most likely to sneak food into a theater and most likely to blame for there being eight Fast and Furious films. Thanks for checking out Latino TCS. We'll catch you next time. See what I did there? When's next time? I don't know. Next week? Next month? You're at my mercy. <laughs>